Hey guys, Techman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your phone if your phone won't turn on or start any longer. Now, there's could be a multiple reason why your phone doesn't want to turn on, but it could be an easy fix by following this video. So let's get started. So first thing, whenever you do have this happen, there could be multiple reasons again why the phone won't turn on. The best way to try to turn on your phone is doing a force restart. To do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold this big side button on your right hand side. So you're going to do volume up, volume down and then hold the side button. Now you're going to want to hold that side button until you see the Apple logo and then you let go again. Remember you want to press volume up followed by volume down really quick and then hold that side button and that generally will fix your phone if it's a software related issue sometimes that could make the phone not turn on and hopefully your phone turns on. Now if it doesn't turn on again it could mean that your phone doesn't have enough charge or it didn't get charged correctly. One thing I recommend you doing is take a look at your charge port here. So over time what happens is a lot of dust and dirt gets built up in that charge port itself. So what you'll do want to take is a maybe a semi ejector tool like this or even a paper clip like that and you want to bend it just like that and go in there and slightly slowly try to see if there's any dust if you have a flashlight also use a flashlight if you have a aerosol can that's for um, air that blows into you can also try that and generally that will fix it because most of the time we see a lot of dust builds up and so whenever you're plugging in your charger it doesn't actually charge and it may be completely dead. The other thing to do is that sometimes what happens is the charge port could it be bad itself or if you have a charger try changing out the charger changing out the wall adapter as well it could be a faulty charger and sometimes you might not even know it and it's not charging. What I recommend you can do is if you have an iPhone 8 or an above you can use a wireless charger like this and you can just play it there and that will kind of can I give you an idea if it's the charge port that's the issue because if it charges wirelessly behind the back here that means that the, the charge port could be bad or the cable that you have could be bad and something going on there. So those are a couple things you want to try. Now the other thing you want to try is that if the phone let's say it doesn't turn on but you hear like sounds or vibration the display could be bad in that case you want to consider getting a display a replacement. And the other thing along with that is if it completely doesn't make sound or anything after trying the uh, like a wireless charger, doing the cleaning out the thing, trying your charger cable is that it could have a bad battery. In that case you want to get the battery replaced as well. While you're doing all of that and checking through all of this, the one thing you want to check is see if there's a there is a recall on your phone and to do that you want to go to any sort of browser that you have so most likely not on your phone if it's not working but go on a computer another phone and search up Apple service program so when you search up Apple service what Apple does is it provides you certain phones that have recalls with certain things going on with it for example as you can see there's some issues with iPhone 11 and their charge their sound there's uh, iPhone 11 that has some issues with their display module so if the display isn't working on your 11 you might be eligible to get those uh, repaired free by Apple or get a replacement device. You want to check this page out for any Apple devices that you have for that matter and see if there's an issue that could be impacting your phone and of course the last thing you want to do is go ahead and take it to Apple so they can actually do a proper diagnostic of the tips that we shared around force restarting, clean the charge port using a wireless adapter and changing out the cables that you're using doesn't really work for you. So I hope this video helped. If so, please make sure that the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.